this particular slide is applicable only for C and C++ languages, but do listen to it because these kind of things can exist in different languages functionalities as well. So the myth that macros avoid overhead of function calls is now quite evidently busted in 2022. There is no data evidence to show that macros perform faster than functions. So there is no point in adhering to this kind of complexity while using a C++, especially while using C++. Even in C, there is no reason for uh, using macros. So as mentioned that since there are no clear advantages of using macros, one should avoid using them. So if they already exist in some legacy code, don't go and change them. But while you are writing new code, avoid them. If you are using C++, then inline functions can serve the same purpose. You can actually choose between an inline function and a const expert wherever applicable. So the language has evolved. Your thought process should evolve with it as well. Macros inherently come with a huge risk of multiple evaluations and you can fall for this even if you yourself haven't written a macro but some of the legacy code which you are using through a third party library is introducing something as a macro. So let's look at a certain set of examples to highlight this pitfall more clear. Look at this particular macro. Do you think this will perform the job correctly every single time it has been invoked? Give it a thought. Let's look at this particular example. Once the macro has been expanded, you will notice that the operator precedence will lead to an unintended outcome. And that is the problem with macros, which is hard to predict. And this will hit production unless a certain test case around this particular function is looking for this kind of a corner case. So these are the kind of issues which macros, which cannot be easily understood by just reading the code. So let's look at what the correct implementation should be. So looking at this correct implementation, you can take away the rule that always parenthesize the macro body and arguments for the safety sake. Sometimes it might not be necessary, but by doing it, you are actually improving the readability and ensuring that nobody in future can by mistake change the interpretation of this macro and cause a runtime issue. So do it as a precaution, both for readability and for future maintainability. 